Hi there strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved case although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. And here is the last part of Mystery of Milk Carton the day that would change everything had started normally, with one exciting difference one day, Bonnie was allowed to go to one of the neighbor's houses to play. She loved heading there, even though it didn't happen very often. She was allowed to take some of her favorite toys to their house to play with Bonnie put her chosen toys into a small box and headed next door for an afternoon of fun. And of course, she took her prized photo with her too. She made sure to hide it at the bottom of the box to keep her promise to her father. She didn't want the neighbor seeing it. Bonnie makes a huge mistake and doesn't even realize it Bonnie had a wonderful time at the house. She loved the change of scenery, as sometimes she got bored of staring, at the same walls of the family home. Being at her neighbor's house was such fun and the hours passed far too quickly. When the time came for her to return home, she said her goodbyes and went back to her parents. She'd had a lovely time and was grateful that she'd been allowed to spend her afternoon there. What Bonnie hadn't realized was that she'd completely forgotten to bring the box of toys, with her. Neighbor's shocking discovery as she finds Bonnie's hidden possession the neighbor discovered the box of toys and was about to return it to Bonnie when she suddenly spotted the black and white image inside. She stared at it, taking in the importance of what she was looking at. The photo looked like a much younger version of Bonnie holding a teddy bear and the word missing screamed out, at her. The description underneath gave Bonnie's name, date of birth, height, and weight. It also had the date that she went missing. The neighbor could not believe what she was reading. The frantic call to the police but time was running out there was a final line at the bottom of the photo that said relationships, mother in Reno, Nevada. As the facts sank in, there was only one course of action that this woman could take. She reached for the phone and started to dial. In an instant, she was connected to the police and put through to an officer. The words fell out of her mouth, as she scrambled to give them the details as quickly as possible. She was petrified that Bonnie's parents would realize that the box and photo were still in her house. It was a race against time and Bonnie's life was at stake. As the friendly interrogation grew tenser, the police knew what they had to do within minutes. The police were at her door to see the photo in person. As soon as it was examined, they went next door to ask the husband and wife about their daughter. The police were cautious not to freak them out, in case they panicked and endangered Bonnie's life in any way. The officers calmly, sat with Bonnie's parents and asked them a few simple questions about when they had arrived in Colorado and what they did for a living. But the questions soon turned to Bonnie and the officers observed the couple getting twitchy and anxious. The police knew they had to take action. Police speak to someone who claimed to be related to Bonnie but he wasn't in this family home the couple was promptly, 
arrested and Bonnie was taken to the police station. One of the officers called the number on the carton and was eventually connected with a man who identified himself as Bonnie's father. He was stunned to hear from someone in Colorado and when he heard that they were calling about a missing child, he struggled to get the words of the man started sobbing and asked if Bonnie was okay. He was told that she was safe and well. As the conversation continued, it quickly became apparent that Bonnie had been lied to for most of her life. The man she had called dad was not her biological father. The sad tale of a broken relationship and a mother's desperate decision it transpired that when she was just three years old, Bonnie had been at the center of a bitter custodial dispute that her mother had lost. Refusing to obey the court ruling, Bonnie's mother had abducted her from their hometown of Reno and disappeared. Bonnie's father was absolutely distraught and put up posters of his little girl wherever he could he asked the police for help but as it was a domestic dispute, they decided not to interfere. He was devastated by that decision and asked the milk carton campaign to put Bonnie's photo and details on the side of a carton. He knew it was a long shot but he was willing to do anything to get her back. The incredible coincidences that led to Bonnie being reunited with her father usually, only photos of kidnapped children were put onto the cartons but he pleaded with those responsible for the campaign to make an exception for his little girl. Whatever he said obviously worked and it was only because of his sheer grit and determination that he prevailed. It's still unknown why Bonnie's stepfather decided to buy the carton for her. Many presume that it was a mix of arrogance and confidence, thinking that Bonnie would keep it hidden and would never learn how to read. Bonnie was immediately reunited with her father, four years after being abducted. It was a miracle that, her face had been put on cartons that were delivered to that particular grocery store in Colorado, and it was a sheer fluke that Bonnie had accidentally left it for someone else to find. Bonnie gives an interview about her time on the run and her future years later, Bonnie was interviewed about her time spent unknowingly on the run with her mother and stepfather. She was asked about her time in Saipan and Hawaii, as well as the many rules she was made to follow to avoid being recognized. She had absolutely no idea that she was being looked for the by her loving father, someone she had little recollection of. I wasn't kidnapped by strangers, I was kidnapped by people that loved me, she said. Charges were filed against her mother and stepfather but that was of no concern to Bonnie. Her life was now all about being back with her father and learning who he was after so many years apart and almost no memory of him. The milk carton campaign is phased out after terrible results her father told reporters that he had never stopped looking for her and had never given up help of one day being reunited with her. He was adamant that someone, somewhere would recognize her from the many photos, that had been distributed throughout the states. On the whole, and the this is the first campaign part of our been unsuccessful, story see you bringing on the last home part. only two of the 200 children displayed on nearly 5 billion cartons as well as one pizza boxes and the back of envelopes. Thankfully, one of those found was Bonnie. The scheme was eventually phased out, being replaced by Amber Alerts in 1996. This new program sent texts, showed messages on billboards and displayed alerts on the front of buses. 
it's proven to be one of the most efficient ways of spreading details about a missing child as quickly as possible. But Bonnie's father will always be grateful for the milk carton campaign.